friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripe and blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule the dye should touch all parts of the capsule for uniform staining the dye is washed out and now the anterior chamber is filled up with visco this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose visco is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now let us see rexis with uterata forceps the uterata forceps goes in pierces the center of the capsule and now this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise and the rexis is performed all the time the anterior leaf of the main wound is lifted off and now hydro dissection is done with balanced salt solution and this 27 gauss cannula the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated in this case my plan is to show the divide and concur technique the ultrasonic energy is about 60 percent flow rate is 20 and vacuum is 80 for sculpting ultrasonic energy depends on the hardness of the nucleus this is a grade 3 nucleus sclerosis and 60 percent ultrasonic energy will be okay for this case now some superficial lens matter is aspirated and now I'm going to make a trench the tip of the FECO needle starts the trench just in front of the rex just in front of the main wound and it goes towards the opposite equator and sometimes this happens the two halves are not equal the half on the right side is bigger and now after 180 degree rotation you can see that now the bigger half is one trench is made on the bigger half and so we have made a trench and from that trench another trench so it's it has become a T shaped trench and now the nucleus is divided and we have got three pieces now the pieces are tilted and each nuclear piece is emulsified at this time the vacuum is 400 and flow rate is 40 the machine is Oatly Cantorix 3 during emulsification of the last piece 
go to FACO 3 mode where the vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25. So the nucleus and epinucleus is managed. Now there is lot of cortex all around. I'm going to use a coaxial irrigation aspiration device to remove most of the cortex. The coaxial IA goes in and I start aspirating the cortex started from 5 o'clock the lower one lower half is done come to the left side and as I turn the sub incisional cortex also comes out now there are some fibers, lens cells sticking to the posterior capsule just in front of the main wound. We must remove these fibers, otherwise these fibers will proliferate and the patient will develop PCO very soon. This is polishing by irrigation alone. Go through the side port and irrigate over the lens cells and it has got dislodged from the posterior capsule. Now I take a 23 gauze Simco cannula and remove these fibers. Now cortical cleanup is nicely done and now uh, a monofocal intraocular lens is to be implanted. I'm using a B cartridge so I enlarged the main wound, the size of the wound is about 3 millimeter now. The lens goes in and just by a push of the left, left hand instrument it goes into the bag. And now the irrigating probe is introduced to the main wound and antechamber is nicely irrigated and whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out by this irrigation. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port has to be nicely closed. BSS is injected into corneal stroma and this side port gets closed. In this case only we have only one side port. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time whatever visco is there in the sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed. The bag is also irrigated. The antechamber is then very nicely formed. The integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Whenever we make a trench and we find that the nucleus is not equally divided, we can make another trench from the initial trench onto the bigger half of the nucleus and the trench becomes like a T. We can divide the nucleus into three pieces and manage the case.